So very good morning students. Today we are going to start our new things and our exercise part is in progress. As we have already started the exercise part and in our previous class we have discussed about the multiple choice question of this class and we have also discussed about the filling the blanks and the lesson which is in progress uh, whose exercise we are doing that is lesson 1 nutrition in plants. So today we are going to start the third question given in your exercise part in your lesson 1 in nutrition in plants and that is true and false. Let us start uh, the exercise portion true and false. So the question number 1 which we are having that is product of photosynthesis are water and light. I have told you already that in photosynthesis what is taking part. I have already told you the chemical reaction also 6 to 2 plus 6 H gives out C6 H12 O6 plus 6 O2 plus energy in the form of ATP. How many ATP will is there? 30 ATP. Right? So, what is the product here? Tell me. Product is glucose and product is oxygen. So, whether they are saying this thing true or false, that product of photosynthesis are water and light. These right side, right handed portion is called product, left handed portion is called reactants or called reactants. So, in the right side, glucose and oxygen is there, water and light is not there. So, it means the question given. That is false. Clear? So first one is false. Clear anyone? So let us move on our second question. Tiny opening present in leaf surface is called stomata. About the stomata, I have already told you. Suppose this is the leaf. On the ring, like this, guard shape, like this. Cells are there and these cells are called what? Stomata. So this is stomata is having this opening now. So this thin opening is called what? Stomata. Right? So guard shaped cells, guard shaped shape cells are present and these guard shaped guard shaped cells are uh, having the tiny opening and that is called what? Stomata. So this is what? True. Tiny opening is present in the stomata. So it means the second one is true. Third one is there. Let us read out the third question. Plant can use nitrogen directly from air. Means plants can take the nitrogen directly from the air. No. Now, I have always told you the atmospheric nitrogen get fixed into the soil with the help of what? With the help of bacteria, with the help of other plants, right? With the help of UV also, right? So, in this manner, uh, atmospheric nitrogen cannot be used directly by the plant. So, it is used when it is mixed into the soil. It means False. Next, brandwood is a saprophyte. Brandwood is a saprophyte. Definitely. I have told you the definition. Saprophytes are those who live on or who digest the food from the dead and decomposed matter. Right? So, bread is what? It is also the dead and decomposed matter. So, it means what? It means they, uh, that is saprophytic in nature. Right? So, bread water is called what? Saprophytic in nature. So, that is true. Next, saprophyte cannot manufacture their food by photosynthesis. Yes, we 
are not going to prepare their food with the help of photosynthesis. So it is also the true. Clear? So two are false, first and third are false, and remaining second, fourth, and fifth. They are true. So these are the true and false given in your book. Let us move on our next topic that is matchups. Right? So now we are going to start our new thing and that is the match the columns. There are two columns given here, column A and column B. So we have to match the correct answer of the column A with the column B. Right? Now, let us see the things which are already given in this. The first one is there, fungi. When I was teaching you during that time, I have already told you that fungi are saprophytic in nature. How they are saprophytic in nature? You have listened about, uh, listened about the bread mold, yeast, etc. etc. Right? And these are what? Actually, they are getting their food from the dead and decomposed matter. So, fungi is saprophytic in nature. Clear? So, I have matched with this saprophyte. After that, the second one is there, and that is given Amarbane. You know, Amarbane, which, uh, which wrapped around any plant and uh, absorb whole nutrition from that plant, right? And that plant they thrive because all the food prepared by that plant, all the water absorbed by that plant is used up with the uh, used up by the amarbeer right? That's why it is called amarbeer also. So amarbeer, it is taking its food from the other other plants. It means it is parasitic in nature. So second one which we can match and that is parasite. So our brain is parasitic in nature. The third one is there and that is called pitcher plant. And the pitcher plant I have already explained to you uh, when I was teaching you about the insectivorous plants. The four types of insectivorous plants I have already taught you. The number one was Venus flytrap. The second one was Bladder word, the third one was pitcher plant. You have uh, remembered or not? So, the pitcher plant is insectivorous in nature. So, we can match the pitcher plant with insectivorous plant. After that, animals are there. When I was teaching you just in the beginning, I have told you that animals never prepare their food, they always take their food from the other animals as in the form of flesh or otherwise they are taking their food from the plant's part, right? So, animals are heterotrophs in nature because they are getting their food from the others. So, this one is the fourth one. After that, the fifth one is there and that is plant's food factory. And the plant's food factory where the food of the plant is synthesized, is manufactured and that part of the plant you everyone know very well where the food of the plant is synthesized, where the photosynthesis takes place and that part is called what? Leaf. So the fifth one we can match with the leaf and this is the answer of fifth one. So these are the match the color. I have matched all the uh, questions along with the B column. So you can do it at your home. You can match it and you can do this exercise part in your notebook and bring your notebook for checking. Right? So try to do it in your notebook. Thank you. Thank you very much class. Please do it in your notebook and learn it also and try to solve it also.